Hey, what's up? I'm Andrea Tupola, representative for District 43. This is the first week of our vlog. The things that I've been up to, besides the million of other things that you see on the news and other things, I was able to visit Mauna Kea this week. It was very eye-opening. Um, I was able to visit with the Office of Mauna Kea Management as well as the astrologers. I got to walk inside the telescope. They showed me around. We did bump into a few tourists as we were up there and I did get to see Tiffany and Laakea who are some of the protectors down at the mountain and we spoke with them. It was a great opportunity and I think for me as a representative I really really want to open up factual information about what's going on there because as far as I'm concerned I'm a state house rep which means that state issues are our business. We are held accountable by the people who elect us and then we hold agencies accountable for what they do to the state of Hawaii and my whole mantra is that by small and simple things we might be able to get big things done here in this state and something small that I've been able to do is just reach out and try to hear and listen to the voices that are up there on Mauna Kea as well as the different entities that are involved in this issue I want to put out factual information, so we're organizing an informational session at the Capitol on August 13th in regards to Mauna Kea. Because aside from the deal in our emergency rule change, which happened a week ago, not a lot of people have been able to voice their concern or even hear what's going on and what is and what is not and what is real and what is fake. So we're going to put it all for you guys to see. Aside from that, we went to the neighborhood board meeting at Nanakuli um, and Maili Neighborhood Board Tuesday night. It was great. I love going to neighborhood board and seeing things that are going on. I always give a report, holding myself accountable to the people. These are the things I've been working on. I'm super excited because we're moving a portable from Nanakuli Elementary to Nanakuli High School. Thank you so much and peace. Bless your hearts for donating that portable. And I'm hopefully going to move it tomorrow morning with um, the contractors. Super excited. I'd spent all Tuesday trying to coordinate that before the neighborhood board meeting. Um, I was also able to go up to Kole Kole Pass. So me, the military, and all my friends, just kidding, just two people. Um, we got to go up to Kole Kole Pass and look at the road because a lot of people want a secondary access road into Waianae. But when's the last time someone actually went up to Kole Kole Pass and looked at the road? That's the big question is in the recent days, how is the road? What is the condition? What do we have to do to really push for a secondary access road? Because I think a lot of people know we need one, but have we identified a strategy and some steps by which we can meet the goal of that strategy, which is secondary access road. We need one. We have one road into Waianae. If there ever was an emergency, we have no way out of the coast. And at this moment, there is no MOA between the military and the state of Hawaii to actually use that road in the event of emergency. So two weeks ago, I was able to meet with DOD to kind of activate that between their lawyers, but we have a ways to go, a ways to go. We do, we do need congressional funds. So we're gonna have to partner, and actually I did invite Tulsi Gabbard's um, congressional team up there, so they came with us up to Kole Kole Pass. We need congressional funding to fix the Navy side of the road. So from the gate, about halfway, that's Navy property that has not been maintained because there's not currently a mission to maintain that with monies to um, pay for the road. But from that halfway point to Schofield, Army Garrison manages that site, and it's beautiful. It's a two-lane paved road that they have money to maintain it. So the question is, can we get money from the Congress to actually appropriate and fix that road so that the Navy side is ready to go? So that's what we've been working on, um, and we hope that you tune in every single week to see what I'm doing for you.